just look at this. Look at that pull, that cheese pull. You cannot tell me this does not look just like real pizza. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make this vegan pizza and let's just count how many times I say vegan in this video. So today I'm going to try making a vegan pizza and I've oiled this pan, set the oven to 425. I'm going to be using this Trader Joe's ready to bake garlic herb pizza dough and it's vegan. You can also see the list of ingredients here. Not gluten free, but vegan. And it says vegan down here as well. And I'm just letting the dough sit right now per the instructions. And yeah, I got this Trader Joe's marinara. 99 cents. I have some toppings here. So let's start with this soy chorizo. Also vegan and gluten free. These vegan mozzarella shreds. And some grape tomatoes. And now we're ready to make the pizza. I did want to point out that this was a pretty affordable meal coming in at $12.15. So this will definitely make at least two servings. More likely it'll make four. So I think that's a very good deal. And does anyone else do this roll pizza dough with an old olive oil bottle because you don't have a rolling pin? Yeah. We're resourceful in this household. So we're just picking up this dough. It's a little sticky. I did put flour on the surface and a little bit on top of it before I rolled it. Just gonna stretch that out. This took a little bit of time. Um, I did make oh, some holes in the dough at some points and you just, you know, cover those up. And I let mine bake a little bit and I actually overbaked this one, but just, just put it in for a couple minutes because you don't want the dough to be completely raw. And can we just acknowledge that consistency? Like if you are a meat eater, this is for you. And now we're cutting up some potatoes. And slicing up some onions. Okay. Um... I kind of do want to get into ASMR, but who knows. So this is out of the oven. Putting on a little bit of this marinara sauce. I know that you're supposed to use pizza sauce because it's a little less liquidy, but this worked just fine and it was really good too. I'm starting off with a layer of cheese, adding the tomatoes, And then crumbling on some of the soy chorizo and a little more. Then coming in with the onions. And finishing up this layer with some more of that mozzarella cheese. And this cheese was supposed to melt really well. And uh, do I want to give a spoiler? At this point, it's not really a spoiler, but you'll see. Spirit, what are you up to? <laughs> Just saying, that cheese is melty. Yes. Yes. And here is the final product. Yes, the cheese did melt. It was beautiful and this really looked like a sausage, a sausage pizza. Um, so I'm a greedy girl and I definitely started cutting this right out of the oven. I was really excited to try it and to show my reaction. So enjoy.
doesn't really taste like pizza, but it's still really good. The texture is good. The consistency is the consistency is good. The flavor is good in its own right. Um, I would definitely make this again. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really hope you try this recipe. It was delicious. Peace.